Hiya. Hiya. Hiya, hello. Uh, was that an impression of me? Yeah, all right. Um, hi, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so hi, hello there. Um, so I am here with Laura Capon. Correct pronunciation of your name. Yeah, he's um, been pronouncing it wrong. Everyone. Laura Capon. Um, so, yeah, Elsie's been at my house all afternoon sorting and tidying. All afternoon? I'd say all day, because it's also all evening. Okay, all you day. You want to see... She never, and she's been a beauty journalist for, what, 20 years now? <laughs> she never sorted out her makeup or any of her beauty stash. Because Can you the imagine? Place to shame me. Sorry, we don't shame friends. Um, so, yeah, while we were together, I thought, I know, let's film a New York haul. Um, because I don't know if you're aware, but I went to New York two weeks ago for Fashion Week. And while I was there, I was instructed to go to Ulta and to Sephora. But you were also going there anyway. Oh, yeah, I was. That's that's true um so i thought yeah we would share i thought that we would share what <laughs> what, what we bought um do you want to go first or shall i shall i get my boring things out of the way i think as they say yes yes as they <laughs> say yes um so this is um la roche posay medicated gel cleanser which i'm aware is classic me She's convinced she has acne. Although I think Dr. Cluck did say you had acne. Yeah, I was diagnosed. Um, but And also obsessed with the term medical. Yeah. And also the, the acne. I'm surprised you didn't buy some gauze as well. <laughs> some some band-aids. Some surgical um, strip tape. Uh, this is the part of the FFR range, which is actually really good. Um, oh, wait, you haven't done your music fans. Oh, my music, for my music fans. I'm listening to Sam Fender, who I am aware has been around for a while. But I just discovered him from the Brit Awards last last week. Yeah. And you know what? It's really nice because it makes a change from her listening to Ollie Mers. <laughs> which genuinely Again. Why? Honestly, I'm surprised you don't have a little port by hat. Because <laughs> 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 that's all he that's wears. Horrible. Port by hat and a bow tie. Him and Perry Edwards. <laughs> that's what she used to wear. It's not 2008 anymore. In your head. In your iTunes library <laughs> anyway, it is. Anyway, so this is La Roche Posay. Um Medicated gel cleanser. It's got two percent salicylic acid. That's a mouthful. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to try it. You know, I feel yeah. Effaclar is such a great range. Yeah, if you're and struggling with spots, yeah. Effaclar Duo Plus the serum. Yeah, and it also fades um, spot scars. scars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, excited to try that. And also not available over here. So again, anything that's not available here, I want. Same goes for these, which disclaimer I did not pay for, but I was going to pay for. Were these sent to your hotel room? Yeah. Um, so this disclaimer I paid for all my stuff. I paid for everything else. Um, fine. And you were gonna buy it. Fine, fine. This fine. is the Cerave Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser with four percent benzoyl peroxide, which is banned in the UK. I mean, it says it all, doesn't it? But because that was what was in the Glossier is it stick? Yeah, before that to reformulate. Yeah. But UK. this is a bit scary, right? I don't think so. Acne and foaming. Says it leaves the skin feeling comfortable. And what does it do for your skin barrier? <laughs> God knows, Elsie loves her skin I barrier. I love maintaining my skin barrier. And it's true, because if you look after your skin barrier, as it in look after says, you. it really does. It's, it's like your guys. friendships. It's like it's like everything. Just keep it... Just keep it hydrated. Mm. Keep it keep it good. Um, yeah, so, and this is a retinol, we in retinol serum, which I think is probably just like a fairly standard retinol. Do you know what though? I didn't love the hyaluronic serum. The one, no, it's just silicon though. That's why. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, that's what would put me for that. But yeah. we do otherwise love CeraVe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that was my boring skincare purchases. Um, I'm going to start with the first thing I knew I wanted. And the, the one thing I thought I would get more from her, actually. You were going to get a lipstick, weren't you? Yeah. Um, so KKW Beauty is now in Ulta. Um, it launched in Ulta the day I left LA. Um, still not over it. Um, and this is her contour stick. Um, I've actually used up two of these before. Um, LP says it's because they're so tiny, which is kind of true. Um, but I just think they basically... Oh, that's the highlight one. I didn't realise I got you both. Yeah, the highlight one is crap. Um, but the they just blend... They just really easily is blend away and leave you contoured. It? And yes, <laughs> like a micro penis, that is all of it. But it's not, it's what you do with it, right? 
Yeah, that's what they always say. And it's double-ended. There's, there's two Size of them. Size does not matter. Um, but I just really like these. And um, I just thought, because they are small and it is, I know it's a rip-off. That's why I've kind of not ordered again from her website. Because also I end up paying like £15 custom tax. Shipping, what's it called? Customs charges. Yeah. So, because um, LP was there. Should I do my other my other Ulta thing? Yeah. Um, and then I also got a Colourpop palette. This is Nude Is nude, that your first Colourpop palette? No. Oh. You got me that other one you really like. Which one? Enhancements. Did I have I that I can't well? remember, yeah. The neutral one. Oh. One that looks like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, okay, so what I will say, full disclaimer to myself, and I really would jump. like you to back me up here, that I was being good in the sense of, I was saying when I got this, I wanted a lipstick. I was like, no, put the lipstick back. Yeah, that's true. But annoyingly... I was around the store. <laughs> had this chicken, put it back. Don't make out you put it back in the correct place. No one believes you. Um, and anyway, it's great when you get off the till when it's quiet and you have to do put backs and things, so... <laughs> Let the checkout staff have a bit of fun, okay? Um, but anyway, this is just a really nice neutral palette. And you can't get Colourpop over here. And it was like $15 and you can't you see anything. I, I mean, I won't wear it every day because I've got too many eyeshadow palettes. But if palettes. you wanted to. I, I damn could. well could. Yeah, you really could. Should I do my Colourpop palette? So I wanted yeah. Elsie to get me this when, I, when she was in LA. But... The altar she went to was apparently shit and had nothing it in was it. Also, apparently, it was I sold out. There. I sent you, Fiona was there, I sent you a picture of the display to show it was sold out. Um, and I went back and it was right. still sold Defensive. out on delivery day, Friday. <laughs> so I've got this X's and O's palette. Again, I probably don't really need it, but... Um, X's it's and O's. Just a really nice... Burgundy. Like, pinks, burgundies. Like, I just feel like really good shades. And this one, Rookie... Okay. Oh, look at that. Just, she glides. She glides like the wind. Like that is That's like wet. So good. Um, yeah. It's got a bit of like blue in it, which I'm actually quite into. Um, so yeah. And I think these are like, I don't know, but $15, $16, yeah. less than $20 we'll go with. And they're um, really good. Yeah. And I just really wish Colourpop was available here. But also, if it was available here, that would ruin all of the fun. Yeah, because it kind of has been with all these brands coming over. Yeah, because Sephora was so shit for a long time, until... Until what? The end of the aisles. Oh, the end of the aisles. <laughs> oh, you, oh, am I doing mine first then? Oh, that was a great segue. <laughs> that was a segue. God, this is why we won't be the next Ant and Deck. Um, so, be. um, if you had better lighting, we could be. God, hang on. Um, anyway, so I was very strict with LP and I just told her for me, just look at the end of the aisles where they have all the cool new indie <laughs> brands. Um, and this is by Melt and it's the Gemini palette. So I asked you to look out for Melt, didn't I? Because again, you can't really get them over here. And there was another palette I wanted, but I thought I would use it less than this one. Do you remember? Yeah, but I preferred the other one. When you, when you wanted this one... You said this one was nicer, no? That's why I got this one. No, I preferred the other one. But then... No, listen! I preferred the other one, but the more I look at this... I just remembered I've forgotten a Colourpop blush as well. Oh, I'll have to go back to it. Um, I was not sure about the colour... Some of the colours in this, because they're Let's quite just bright. Show you. Let's just show you. So, it's... I think it's very reminiscent of, Ma of Naked Honey um by urban decay but it's got more green in it i just think it's really cool and i did refer to it as the princess fiona palette she did to which i told her i've never seen shrek but i understand the reference and i appreciate a good joke <laughs> <Like> uncle prince <laughs> i understand the <laughs> reference and i appreciate a good surprise! joke surprise <laughs> surprise surprise <laughs> um <laughs> but i think that's just and i do wear like different colors you do you'll wear every shade in that you'll do an instagram video and then you'll put it in the bin <laughs> that's Great. what's gonna happen you just but go? no can we swatch it because okay these i feel like yeah it was these greens i wasn't convinced about but then the more i looked at them the more i was like actually that was a horrible little come hither <laughs> um like that's really nice and i think yeah imagine like a cool do you know who would like this makeup maestro that's really nice i think that would look nice on my hazel eyes 
behind them. <laughs> right, Kelly. Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> um, she's up there with Holly Murs, surely. And anyway, yeah, so I feel like this in particular is really nice. And Agreed. Yeah. Should we just move on? Yeah, she wants... Oh, I haven't done my... Oh, we'll go back to that. Hang on. <laughs> she's got pins and needles. I um, got really bad pins and needles. <laughs> so this was... Um, a last minute purchase. This is the Super Goop Play. Don't mind Elsie, she's just got pins and needles. She'll be back. Just a brief, I will be back. Just a brief hiatus. Um, this was actually recommended to me by Elsie, who was recommended this is like by- This when went to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> and then you came back. Oh, well, what are you gonna be? Are you in? Fill in? <laughs> anyone? Just anyone? Uh, right, <coughs> and, and she's back. Um, okay, so this is, yeah, super group. So this was recommended to Elsie by Miranda. Miranda. Miranda, but Miranda. We're friends on Instagram. Great. And um, Callie Thorpe. Callie Thorpe loves super group. So um, I'm excited to try this because I love an SPF. And super group is an SPF brand. You were saying that they have... They do like cream eyeshadows with SPF in. They're just quite like... SPF -ish. Yeah. They just <laughs> love that SPF life. <laughs> um... A lot of them, there was another daytime SPF, I think, that I tried it and it just felt really silicone-y, but this actually feels like it would sit really nicely under makeup. And I have this one, but my um, packaging is different, so now I don't know if it is that one. Uh, well, but. anyway, yeah, I'm excited to try that. Um, and Your then, little belief kit. Yeah, so I also bought this on my way to the checkout. So this is a brand... The Isle, the yeah. Isle of Doom. So this is a brand that I've been wanting to try for a while, but I think it's quite expensive on its own. I think this was maybe $20 for five little tester size things um but actually i've been really liking it so this is the aqua bomb no aqua hydration rescue kit and then um, this cleanser is really nice and they also have this um sleeping mask that i really like um just use it as a nighttime moisturizer but this was really nice um it just yeah do you want to just try yeah because i, I don't it. like overnight moisturizers but I just feel oh, like that does feel nice. It's just really satisfying. Also, these are like Oli Murray. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's one of his songs? <laughs> Come on, you know more. Um, in case you didn't know. Well, what's his most popular one? No one knows that one. Know. Dear Darling. That's not his most popular one. What's his past one? <laughs> and they come on like the. Oh, he's like. <laughs> just give me one. I don't know. You, you're his biggest fan, along with Jess Browning. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's... <laughs> I wish you could think of one. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that. And I think maybe I'll get a full size something or other next time Elsie goes to LA in a month. My, be my best <coughs> thing is this, which you're really jealous I'm you didn't so get. I'm so jealous. Um, so this is the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, which I saw Katie Jane Hughes whining on about. Shout out to Love you, Katie Jane Hughes. Hughes. Who will not be watching this. Um, no, but she does follow me, not you. <sighs> Um, and it's the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Basically, Makeup Forever was available in Demonyms, but they've pulled out of the UK, which is kind of sad, but also I just think they got a bit forgotten. Yeah. The problem is, I think they're a brand you need to shop in a sh in shopping store. Because do you remember when they launched in the UK and everyone wanted that foundation? It was HD foundation. I yeah. bought that in America, I think. Yeah. And I yeah. just think, because I a few of like um, professional makeup websites still have it still stock them like guru makeup emporium but it's just too hard to work out your shades like they have so many and they all have names like this is r230 which sounds R2 like it's in, it's in star wars um but lp did me a real solid and perfectly shade matched me i just wanna and i just think this is going to be my new favorite foundation oh i'm this is so nice it actually blends so as dci hastings would say mother of god <laughs> that's a very niche reference I don't think Line of Duty is niche. Well, that depends if you've seen it. But that is actually really nice. You and look at that thing. colour match. Perfecto. Buzzing. Oh, i got one more thing. Thank you. What is it? My colour... Have I shown my ColourPop blush? Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, not much time. 30 seconds. My favourite, favourite blushes. These are by ColourPop. They're the Super Shock ones. Because they're kind of like a powder to cream. This is called Count Me In. You keep talking while I do this. <laughs> and this is um, a, a Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter in A Little Quarky. And this, Can you just say that again? A little quirky. But this is probably the same colour as every other one that I've had. But honestly, so good. Mother of God. So creamy and so delicious. 
Who says creamy and delicious? Right, we have to go now. <laughs> On that note, bye.